a little time zone thing going on with uh, between Central and uh, Eastern Time. Oh, that is loud. Hold on one second. And that is also coming through my speakers. There we go. All right. So we're off. And it's going to be a little bit different here. And I'm going to explain the differences here as we go along. I'm going to let you guys try to find them out first. And this is the tournament race between number 11 seed Vonky and number 21 seed Simple. And it's uh, the third round of the bonus bracket. Hope everyone's having a good morning. Sit that there on uh, simple side. Hard encounters here with the, the birds and the things flying at you. Simple ops to go south, Vonky goes north. Red Dyra, there's the front side of Jump Cave on Simple Side. He'll be marking that in case he has to go there again for future use. And our first town. It's uh, Rudo. So Rudo was south. Bonky is already 212. And he finds the backside of what is either a fairy cave or PTR cave, Parappa to Rapper cave. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is Vonky in a desert encounter right now? And we'll, uh, I'll answer that in just two seconds. There's the Peabag cave on simple side, which means if we find any cave blocked by a boulder, it will be an item. And the hammer will be required to get it. And how's the uh, the game to Larry ratio, by the way? Is it doing pretty good? Let me know. Now, why did Vonky take a desert encounter on the grass tile, you're asking? Well, that is because, as he finds uh, Mito... They are shuffling encounters. They are not playing the normal tournament seeds. They have agreed to play a variation of the tournament seeds. Of note, palaces are swapped between continents. Encounters are shuffled. A full great palace has been enabled. Thunderbird is required. And something else I wrote down that I can't read. Oh, ran they're randomizing the number of gems they have to place. Vonky grabs uh, Bagu's note, just in case he has to go through Saria. He'll go north to a town. That town was the town of Mito, though. So he found Mito and Rudo. And there is Saria. I think that was also south of start. Uh, Simple's not going to go in and get the spell. He's going to pop right back out, find level 1, and continue cave exploration. Now, I'm, Vonky has found PTR cave. Uh, John, someone's uh, joining me shortly. Sorry about that. I'm trying to... Uh, Recognize everything here. That's the backside of Jump Cave on Simple Side. And there is the front side of Fairy Cave. As we have Medicine Cave for Vonky. He'll go through this and he'll get an item. Red Dyrus. They're not shuffling small and large enemies, though. Just of the things that listed.
Now Simple is going to go in and grab the spell here in Saria. Let's see what he... Grab the mirror, see what he gets. Glove! In the medicine cave for Vanki. That is a uh, tremendous find for your first item. Okay, Vanki is P1. And let's see what the spell is here. You won't be able to cast this. Community hints are also on. That's something I didn't mention. But it is Reflect. And it's 62. He surely can cast that. So, one of the required spells. Straight away. And we'll mark that for simple. And he'll move on. He does not have the note, so he can't get out of the backside of so the, uh, sorry, the business end of Saria. Vaki is now in the heart container cave. He will grab another item. And, uh, Raru for... for simple. So, at, uh, at the six minute mark, we've seen all four towns in this area. He'll grab a health refill. I did not see what he got in Heart Container Cave. Can someone help me out there? And simple spell. Stay a while and listen. Bonky's going to be on his way to get Reflect. There's Fairy. So the two free spells were Fairy and Reflect. That's certainly better... Uh, than most uh, seeds this tournament. So, Fairy. Vanki grabs the mirror. Heart, thank you very much, King Doll. So, Heart in the Heart Container Cave. Oh, it's obviously right there on his uh, bar. And here comes the Reflect spell. Simple grabs attack, too. And Vagi is already up to 223. Made some good use of some pea bags and uh, some red dy dyras. Alright, that is four. You are right. So, Vanki with the Reflect spell and able to cast it, is he, uh, is he just going to farm this uh, Nut Knuckle or is he going to go into four here? Grabs a 200 point pea bag. And takes attack three. And he's gonna farm, it looks like. A little bit more dangerous than Palace One uh, Palace Three farming, obviously, because the uh, the MOA. Medicine cave for simple here. He'll go through, grab the glove. As Vanki is now going to explore the south side that Simple went to first, there is the jump cave. This is Raru, and thus the fairy spell. Simple doing a good thing there. He's going to lead the Daira more towards the entrance so that he doesn't trigger two large enemies at one time. By the time he kills this Dyra, he'll encounter the next one. And there is Fairy for Vanki. It is worth noting that Vanki did create these flags. So if that's any indication to past races, this should be um, a little bit crazy. I have not noticed yet. I have not paid attention to how many gems they actually have to place. So next time somebody pauses and brings up the spell menu... I'm going to do my best to find out. For those who've never played a limited or randomized gem count, uh, if you have four gems, let's say, you can't beat five palaces and gain the experience point bonus from the fifth palace. You, in a sense, do nothing. You can beat the boss, you can gain the experience from the boss, but you obviously you have no pl gem to place to then get additional experience for completing the palace. It's just four, and you're done. And if it's one, then they can only do it once. But since it's only 
it could be less than six gems. They only had to beat that many number of palaces before the entrance to the Great Palace opens. But they still need their normal stuff because they have T-Birds required, so they'll need Thunder. They'll most likely want and need Fairy, the Glove, Downstab, and, and Upstab, primarily. It's a one and done? Wow, okay. Oh, it's six gems, all right. So basically no randomization there. Yes, Buzz, I thought you were joining me. I thought you said that last night. Faki's gonna dive into the palace here. He has no keys. So he's just gonna up A and leave. That looked like it was five. Actually, I'm sorry, six. So one up for Vaki. And Vaki's finding the last of the towns there in Rudo. I believe now he's seen them all. Actually, he might not have seen uh, Mido. Mido, sorry. And there is one, so it's it's one, five, and I believe six, or either three or six. So one's the easy one to place a gem, but they do need to place gems any, everywhere, so that really doesn't matter. It's not going to factor into this uh, seed. Nut Knuckle Staircase here. There's a grass spot. And it's the uh, candle bag. <clears throat> Fairy being 71 at Magic 3, neither player can cast it. So that's going to make uh, going through palaces a little bit difficult. Maybe not so much Palace 1. But they cannot get downstab as of right now, and they cannot um, ferry through doors. Baki's going to collect a few keys here. At least one. See if there's a collapsible bridge on this side. There is not. Where's the backside, Saria? Hello, Larry. Hello. Hello, you. Hey, I'm all right. Sorry, I got my times uh, mixed up. Obviously, uh, what's what's Vonky's uh, handle? Uh, Vonky zero two zero. And in fact, zero everybody should take this opportunity to follow the runners. Vonky zero two zero and uh, simple dude D O O D. Catch up as soon as you're uh, as soon as you're up and loaded. I'm ready to go. All right, so they're not playing custom seed here. They're not playing the regular tournament flags. Okay. They're playing cool. a little hybrid where palaces are swap swapped between continents. Enemy encounters are shuffled. So if you encounter an enemy on a grass tile, it was a desert tile, stuff like that. Okay. Full great palace. Thunderbird required. And a random amount of gems, which randomized to six. So, oh wow. Okay, so we're in for a hell of a seed here. Yeah, they didn't shuffle small and large enemies, so it could it could have been a lot worse. Um, really, the basic 
basic thing here is just palaces, full gray palace, and you know, take away the random gems because that's not even an option. So it really turns out to be similar to a tournament flags. Yeah, I was gonna say that's almost just the the master flags. Yeah. Well, ma oh, yeah, nice. master has a uh, swap small and large though, and they kept them the same. So they won't hit an encounter with, you know, six Dyra's in it when it's supposed to be uh, two bots, two Octoroks, and two Beetles. Yeah, exactly. So Vanki's going to go back up A and go back through. He hit a key door, and I'm not sure at that time if he up A'd, because I was looking at my notes to inform you. But, yeah, six gems. Se uh, Fairy cast 71, so they can't cast it right now at Magic 3 and 4 containers. Okay, and uh, first palace is Palace 1. Uh, yes, actually, they found um, 1, 5, and what is either 3 or 6. I'm oh, sorry, 1, 4, and what is either 3 or 6. I thought it was 6 really quick when I looked at it, though. But it could have also been 3. Now Simple's going to dive into 1. Easier of the choices. Neither of them has the raft, so... How was your morning? Uh, good. I just I had a decent run. Oh, did you? When did <laughs> that's uh? What I was that's what I was doing because I because I thought I had extra time. Well, it's funny because the race was supposed to start at ten Eastern, but uh, Vonky confused Eastern with Central time, so he made it for eleven Central. Uh, le um, sorry, eleven. It's supposed to start eleven Eastern, but he made it eleven Central, and you thought it was twelve Central. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I, well, luckily I didn't miss the whole thing. <laughs> No, not at all. A little, little expiration on the overworld. We found Heart Container Cave. It was a heart container. And the glove was in Medicine Container Cave. Okay, and, that's uh, nice. Not Medicine, I'm sorry. The Medicine Cave. And uh, Candle Bag in the Grass Spot. Okay, so they did start out with the candle and nothing else then? Uh, just Candle. They did start with Candle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, just... Not like the good old days when we used to use those beginner settings, and we'd have the raft, to, the raft candle and glove, like starting out. <laughs> well, that was our, that was our, you know, when we were like, okay, randomize our starting item. We didn't realize it would randomize every item with a fifty percent chance to start with it. Yeah. And then we also took downstab in life, so we were pretty, uh, pretty green to the game. There's a, Certainly. There's the attack for simple there, four three three. Just amazing combat here, Buzz, by uh, Simple, if you've ever watched him before. Uh, I've, yeah, I've only seen a little bit of him, but yeah, he's the he's the world record holder, correct, for all keys? Yeah. Yeah, so his combat has to be unreal. Just watch him, watch him on bosses. It's just amazing. Yeah. It's kind of like watching uh, Yunos just like has... <laughs> now, he does the things that normal people could do, but then also can stab like two extra times per yeah. jump. Uh, no key there for simple. Can't cast fairy, as we said before, so we're not going to see what's in that item room as of right now. He might find a key and go back. I love Yunus's fight against uh, Guma. I was linked to. I think it was on YouTube. It was just sick. Uh, yeah, cause he gets like gets inside his head, kind of. Yeah. And can get like three or four hits on him. Yeah, it's awesome. I tried it a couple times. I think I jumped right into Guma, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't mess around with that kind of stuff. <laughs> they, uh, are they in the same room here, Buzz? Uh... Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like we're going to be uh, simultaneously in the item room in a moment. Uh, except, no, I don't know. Simple just decided to turn around. And the item is, oh, there it is. That's interesting. Did he want to get a more favorable spawn? That he re-entered the room? That uh, looks like it. Yeah, it's possible. 
Or he just uh, got confused and he didn't know he, he came in that direction and still Did needs he a key. Oh, he needs a key. Okay. But he was just in that mo that room like three minutes ago, so. And then they are, Buzz. Uh, yes, that is the uh, the gentleman's handshake. Uh, I need I needed to come up with something else. So we have the raft and, and the glove already. I got to mark glove for simple. <laughs> Could we call it a, a passionate embrace? Oh, we could, if you want. That's fine. <laughs> Funky's going to get his attack level there, so... Pretty even, all things considered, except for that Simple just hasn't gotten the key to get to the raft yet. The, uh, the raft. The raft. Horse head fight for Vonky. Wow. Attack four. Not Looked bad. Looked like that was only, like, two or three hits. <laughs> He'll I place... just looked up and he was dead. <laughs> yeah, he'll place the gem. He won't farm here. Notice that. He'll just take whatever is 370. Simple has a. He's gonna grab a key. And it's uh, life four. Four three four. What is four three four, Larry? Uh, I really don't know. No, I thought you had all of them. No, yeah, we don't. We don't speculate until it's, they enter the great pal palace. Okay. No if he problem. enters the Great Palace of 434, we may find out. But it is six gems as opposed to one, so. Oh, wow. Ah, early Hammer Cave. That's yeah, amazing. that's. That's only happened to be one time <laughs> where it's the first cave, it's right there. It's that's, for that's... fortunate and unfortunate because uh, if Simple en enters from the same area, he'll find it that quick as well. But for, but still fortunate enough in the fact that he found it. He dove in and found it, and Simple might take a little while before he gets there. I've seen Simple um, gamble Death Mountain every every race so far. Yeah, the run I just completed, uh, I didn't even see Death Mountain, and that was great. <laughs> Simple is going to stock his XP uh, XP here, and I know exactly why. He's going to take Magic Four because he wants to cast Fairy. Yeah, de definitely a good strategy. You know, helps you out with your shortage of keys. Yeah. Whereas uh, Vonky took Life Four over holding the XP for Magic Four, uh, mostly because he was there and it was ready for him, and uh, and he upaid. Vonky may even it out if he finds a uh, Magic Container here. And it's the trophy. So, uh, we have Reflect already, so, I mean, if this blocks Thunder, it could also block the Hammer or the Boots. The Hammer really, I don't feel like, is necessarily required given the items we found so far, but you never know. Hammer could block the, uh, the Water of Life or the Kid. Was it Fairy in Raru? Fairy was in Raru and Reflect was in Saria, yes. So the glove being taken off the table, where uh, we have to put on our uh, our hats here and, and come up with the most devious ways for this seed to become a troll <laughs> seed, and uh, it would probably include hammer, kid, water of life. Uh, yes, exactly. Bo boots, you know, <laughs> boots and new casudo to get the uh, or trophy to get the spell spell, to get the boots to get the hammer to get the Cade water, water of Life to get Thunder. And there's the Raft for Simple right there. Probably mix in seven magic containers there somewhere. Oops, that's Shield is not Raft. I don't know why I would click that. Yeah, the best way is to have the hammer underneath the seven magic container requirement spot. And then forcing you to go back into Death Mountain to find the, uh, the kid. With a uh, magic container five, six, and seven being in uh, four, five, and six, yeah, <laughs> Alice, yeah, that'd be rough. Oh, here is Trophy Town, so we'll uh, also refer to sometimes by Vonky as Martin Town. 
So we'll give him that little nod right there. Is that right? What's the? Why is it called Martintown? Well, Martin spent about three and a half hours looking for the trophy one time, and he already had it. <laughs> so uh, that's been Vonky's joke. So there are the double hits on uh, on Horsehead, and uh, then a couple singles, and Horsehead is down. Stay a while and listen. Uh, Deckard Kane apparently is the old man in uh, Rudo. <laughs> what was the uh, spell? Uh, I was watching the Horsehead fight. It was it was the life spell. Life spell. Not required, but a crutch. Good thing to have. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. I always have fun with the seeds that, uh, where you don't have shield or life. <laughs> Makes things really easy. Vaki takes a look at the Eastern Continent and doesn't wake up to find anything, so he's gonna come back over to the West. There's still Magic Container Cave, Trophy Cave to find, and for Vaki, the grass spot. So, is this the same Death Mountain entrance uh, that Simple found, or is he unlucky and on the other side? I'll tell you in two seconds. Yes, it's the oh, same yep. Death Mountain it's entrance. It's the same one. Yeah. <laughs> there is the candle bag for Vanki. 500 XP. He found it early enough. He's going to take Magic Four. So, well, Simple didn't do what I thought he did. He took Attack Five. He didn't take Magic Four. It's easy enough to get magic four in just killing normal enemies in fact he might even get it in death mountain because i believe there was a red dire here and then there's going to be a couple other large enemies along the way another red dire so yeah, there's that... another 150 so he'll be up to 350 yeah, that, that's, 330 that's not a problem Still a little bit of a gamble to get that level because you're you're not guaranteed that that uh, that magic requirement is going to come down. I'm still a little fuzzy on how that all works. In vanilla, the difference and between how... three and magic level three and four is no difference. It's sixty to cast it at both levels. Yeah, but that that's randomized here. Yeah, there's twenty. So this is uh, actually it's six fifty for magic. Okay. Life was uh, 370. I bet. Vanka's yeah, gonna help, eh? Yeah, it looks like Simple is staying away from that that uh, magic level. Vanka's gonna go back the way he went to start the game. Nope, he's coming right back out. See, and after then... completing one there, you, like you said, if they if it's either six or three on the eastern continent, uh, that would be the place to go, because usually you can find that key room where the extras are. Oh, they probably have that turned off, though. They have extra keys turned off. No, extra keys are still on. Okay, yeah, then that's, Let me that's double -check. the place. Three is what you want to go, because normally you can get out of there with at least one or two extra keys, uh, not even trying to find them, really. Extra keys are still on. Okay. Yeah, that would be that would be my strategy. Even going into, well, no, you don't want to go into six yet. Well, Mito was north of start, so if he's able to cast Fairy right now, uh, he is going. Vanki was the one that found it. He is going in the direction of where Mito was, and actually, Simple is now going that direction because I don't think Simple's been across this bridge yet. Desert encounter on the grass tile. You just think you're safe and you're not safe. <laughs> yeah, I love when I fun. yeah when I play these seeds and uh, I get the encounters to spawn. I'm like oh no when I back up off to the road and it's like swamp encounter. I'm yep. like oh come on. <laughs> yep, that happened to me like four or five times before I finally realized it. I was like oh yeah the road is not safe. And there's Mido, so we have to believe, and both players are in it right now. We have to believe that you can cast Fairy at Magic 4, because Vonky's going to go in. Still 71 for Simple, though. And he realizes that, and he uh, backs out of out of there. And there is... Fairy. Yep, just being able to get the downstab in here. Absolutely. Great thing to have. Uh, can't give the uh, Thirsty Broad the Water of Life. I just realized there's two Thirsty Broads. Uh, Dig played a game of F. Mary Kill doing um, Medicine of Life Broad 
uh, Thirsty Broad and Hillary Clinton. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, let, let me try to speculate. I refuse to acknowledge it. No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't answer. He just proposed a question to us when we were, me and Martin, when we were racing. It was probably pretty. Oh funny. no, yeah, I remember you asked him after his race, and he uh, he didn't well, do it. But you had his wife as one of them. But that oh, look, question came from is, somebody else. I was just relaying the question. Somebody in chat, I believe it was DH. Larry's favorite character. Yeah, we'll, we'll ignore that. Not not necessary the seed, but uh, certainly could be a shortcut. I don't think it is though. I think they're both south of start. In fact, they don't really have to do much except cross a bridge encounter to get to most of this area. Although Vanki is going to go across um, Parappa the Rapper Cave here. PTR uh, emotes still under review, unfortunately. I thought you had carte blanche with uh, better Twitch TV. Uh, not quite. Not apparently. jealous or anything, but... <laughs> I, I assure you, it's completely random. Except they come into your chat and throw a party when you do an emote, and then they... Uh... Yeah, that was, that was very interesting. <laughs> we definitely acted like internet people, though, when that happened. That was pretty funny. Oh, yeah, there, that was, so that was, there is a boulder blocking a cave right there on Vonky's side. That is guaranteed to be an item. Either trophy cave or medicine, uh, magic container cave. So one of those other ones is uh, P-Bag? P-Bag has already uh, been been found. That's the only cave okay, I've so, seen that's blocked oh. by a boulder. Okay, so there's two. No, there's another one right there next to it. So there's two boulder caves. Okay, so both the of them area. are. So now we can yep. add... Yeah, oh, there it is right there. Now we can add Hammer to the list of uh, required. We, we had it for Spectacle Rock, but we can uh, probably try to find a little bit way to, little way to use Hammer twice here. Swamp Encounters are Grass Encounters, so that's kind of nice. Vonky's going to sail away with me, you guys, to the east. Nice journey. Get some journey in there. I think it was sticks. It was oh, actually Eric right. Cartman. But... Yeah, no, you're. Uh, I can't believe I said that wrong. That was dumb. It's early. Don't worry about it. There's the water spot. Uh, don't don't say the first uh, lyric line of that song because then I have to sing the rest of the entire. Thing. <laughs> I'm sailing away. Desert spot and water spot right there. Desert spot is the heart container. It is the item one for Vonky. And uh, the water spot. As soon as you get the boots, you can get an item out of there. Man, I really hate those lava encounters. I hate diving into them. I I've had a seed where it's been the normal encounter from uh, the Valley of Death. And uh, it's <laughs> it wasn't fun. Down stay up for simple. Yeah, I remember the... It was... Like, the grass area was gigantic, and those encounters were all the Valley of Death encounters, and uh, didn't have the candle. Those are always a lot of fun without the candle. FMK, Thirsty Burrow Trophy Girl, Old Jar Lady. Oh, God. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll answer that one in the, uh, the, the personal stream, not the professional stream. Remind me, though. Uh, that, that's an easy one for oh, me. Oh, by the way, you missed the big Bagu backstory chat we had in, we had yesterday. Everyone oh, was just I? going in on the lore that you created. Oh, man. I'm always missing out. Oh, that was on the that was on the uh, Nasty Girl stream last night? <laughs> no, I think that was before that. Oh, I think okay. that was in, during one of my early races. But uh, what we got here on the Eastern Continent, let's not neglect mapping out the overworld in our mind this time. Yeah, those last two races, I feel like we didn't even see the Eastern Continent in either one of them. Yeah, and like I said, like I said, it's we're busy looking at people in palaces, or I'm looking for people getting items or, or in towns getting spells that I'm not really noticing the configuration of the overworld so much, but we're going to do better with that. There's a Brock Lesnar phallic tattoo desert. Are you sure it's not just a knife? I don't know. It like a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it looks like. Uh, do we have a Brock Lesnar emote? No. Blue Octoroks are, are invulnerable. 
Only in swamp encounters. <laughs> yeah, only in swamp encounters. I like how you say that, and then Bonky immediately kills one. <laughs> well, hey, I said something wrong. Go figure. So Simple here is going to go find the desert encounter. The forest encounters are free. He went the wrong way, but he'll meet, be met with a dead end and uh, go back and find the... Find the heart container in the desert. Yeah, we could map out Maze Island, too, if you want to get serious about it. Ah, uh, no need. Uh, here we go, an item. Is that little child kid. I was going to say something bad about him, but it's not his fault. It's not his fault. He was in the magic container spot, however. He seems to always be lost out on the ocean. Well, there's 25% chance of, uh, 50% chance he's going to be in Maze Island. 25% chance he's going to be in his normal encounter, 25 in the magic container encounter. So, the moving blue Octoroks are invulnerable. The regular ones are normal. And here's item number two. Nope. Yeah, item number two. Oh, nice. Hammer is a great item to find, especially because we know that both of those... Both of those uh, rock block caves right next to each other each have an item. Simple as uh, diving into a cave here. Come out the other side. Nope, nope this is the side he... Uh, and Maze Island from. is Palace 5. And Bonky decides to dive in. 4-4-4, four, four, four. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a tough Guma fight, especially if he has uh, increased health. Ah, uh, yes, and he finds the dead end room, and he uh, he is going to check to make sure it's not a dead end. I, I finally stopped doing that. And I finally stopped doing it, too. I'm, I'm confident to the extent that I, I know it's a dead end. Actually, I finally stopped doing the one in 6, where you go down the, uh, the, the elevator, and it's that the three-tile jump room to the left, and to oh, the right's yeah. the key with the dead end. I always go right there, thinking it's 5. We're playing it like it's five. So Simple's gonna go down through Brock Lesnar Desert. It's gonna put him in the same area, I believe, uh, Vanki wound up. With Maze Island, look at that. So you have to go through that desert or possibly have the boots to get to that area. So we're most likely gonna have both of our runners uh, in five for a little bit here. As soon as Simple finds both of the items. I think this room was dubbed the Angry Larry room, although it didn't get my express written consent for that. Really? It could have been something else, yeah. Is that only when there are mouths in there? I think every room. I hate those things, man. I actually got the farm room yesterday for a level. It was nice satisfying. Yeah. So he's going to stumble across two? Chris' simple at second item here. I, I farmed them in uh, two separate dungeons. One seat I remember and uh, <laughs> I, was, I think you said yeah, I was trying to, somebody said there I was trying to make those guys extinct. Yes. Yes. But it doesn't, it doesn't work. It should work. I probably killed at least a hundred of them but it doesn't work. <laughs> they, they breed like rabbits. Did Simple grab the kid and we missed it? Or I missed it? I know he's at the hammers, the hammer now but uh uh, yeah, I can't confirm that again. Yeah. Hypnotized by the uh, by the lime green dungeon. He did that. The ecto cooler dungeon. Remember Slimer? I do. Remember in the new Ghostbusters where he's like driving around in that cab with his wife and like all of his uh, kids in the back? I don't remember that now. Yeah. I actually watched that movie. Now Simple's gonna wait, make his way to five. So interesting here, uh, Buzz. Do you go? Do you peek for the item here, or are you just gonna streamline right for take all the rights and uh, try to get the Guma only, and then just leave? Um, I don't think we need no. 
no, no item. No Simple's item gonna walk me. out. Especially because you, you know that you have two of them just sitting out in the open. So really, you want to kill Guma and then up A, go back and get those two items and then try to clear out the rest of the palaces in the eastern continent. Yeah. Simple's gonna make use of his hammer, I think. He up A, he leaves the palace up A's. And then, uh... He's... Yeah, that's, that's, another, that's not a bad strategy, too, because... You know how to get right back to Palace Five, and again, you're a little bit a little bit low level to jump in there, just because Guma can be a real headache if he has high hit points. Yeah, you're also simple, so you can handle that fight. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's true. I didn't consider. Actually, that. not to be unfair, Vanki can handle the fight too at Attack Five. But um, yeah, this is more on the uh, the what what I would do, but I I did it in a defeat. In my last uh, tournament race, my only, my, my eliminating tournament race is I found the hammer and got so excited to go get Spectacle Rock and the two spots blocked by Cave that I decided to up A instantly and then I missed like the two towns that were across the other side of uh, where I got the hammer and one was like the magic key or something, but it's heart container in five. Not bad. We do. Uh, we would like to see magic containers, so probably one of them in one of these hammer block caves, which Simple is uh, no doubt looking for. Yep, he's got to go through the other side here. He's got to go down and yep. around, and he's going to find he both of them. It. Yep. The first one being immediately to his right, I believe. And it is Trophy Cave. And as Buzz Thunder said, there's our first uh, magic container. Now, Simple has also not been to Heart Container Cave. It contains a heart container, but... Vanky's going to take an intentional death, refill the magic, and then cast Fairy to get through the door, I believe. There is um, Magic Container Cave. So yeah, I don't know if Vank uh, I don't know if Simple would go back trying to... There, that's nice. He was just at Mido, so he's going to go back to cash that in. I don't know if he's uh, prioritizing that uh, extra Heart Container Cave or not. Well, as far as he's concerned, he doesn't know, you know, as far as he knows, he doesn't know what it is. He knows it's not the trophy. He knows it's not the the medicine. And, uh... So he must have picked up the kid for him to leave. Oh, no, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah well, that was... So now spell requirements are not a problem for him. Just gotta find the right one. Yes. As Vanki continues uh, with his uh, excursion of Palace 5. Of importance, the items that could be in Medicine, I'm um, sorry, the Heart Container Cave for all he knows, the boots, the magic key. Yeah, I'd say that's about it. I mean, of like utmost, like not importance, but like, you know, high priority if you were wanted an item. Probably, probably would even prefer a magic container above all else if he would happen to stumble upon it. I don't think he's going to look for it, though. Yeah, it was easy enough just to get both of those with the hammer that he might not want to be doing a lot more searching over in the east. A wild Link appears. Jump. He never turned in the trophy, though, so I wonder if he's going to do that now. It was just south to start, and he up A's. Uh, 
Uh, get a little insurance, get a life spell. Yeah. Life insurance spell? Nah. <laughs> Vanki finds the dead end room opposite of that little key inlet nook, whatever you want to call it. That's a good room. I still don't know how to identify that one. Because every time I think that I found that dead end red jar room, it's a it's a pass through. It's the fairy, the eco key room. Is uh, what I confuse it with. I think that was in five. All right, Simple's gonna. Looks like he's going to this palace. You say Rudo was close to start there? Uh, I have marked down Rudo south of start. And I believe okay. it was the first one that um, was found. The first <sighs> town that was found in the game. Yeah. Simple's combat is just awesome. Yeah. That extra, like, downstab hit he just got on that, <laughs> on that iron knuckle. Oh, what he's contemplating here. We still don't know whether it's three or six. Well, the first room's a corridor. Uh, this room. It's definitely uh, oh, six. Oh, it's six. Yeah. He goes okay. down, I think it's a corridor. With the... So we only have one gem placed from each of them in Pals 1? I believe so, yes. Okay. I didn't know if they, they went into 4 at all, because you said that 4 is on the uh, east. They went in 4 a little bit. Um, I think they uh, I think Vonky hit a nut knuckle, got a pee bag for 200 points, leveled up, and then we came back in and found out it was 70, and then left. The normal version was 70. Generous room there in the beginning of six. Here's our eco key room from the other side. Yep. Ah, nice. I love I love that jump that simple just made to get this extra key. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I just love making that. I think I made it one out of twenty times. It's a nice place to get a key though. Yeah. You don't have many of them. Oh, uh, Bucky. Uh... Oh, no, and he jumps the wrong way to get the extra key. Yeah. Bonky takes a little little dip in the water. So I do exactly what Simple does every time. I land there and I go right. And I'm like, oh, it's a dead end. That's right. And I go back left. <laughs> I'm 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 licking my chops for those rooms. If I need keys, I'm just like, yep, free keys. Here they come. So he's on the other side of that jump room now. Simple. He makes the jump. Big jump. He's going to go left first before he drops down. That's, uh... That's interesting. He doesn't really decide to go much further than that. We found Guma. Sammy hits, takes that attack level 5. There's two. Oh, yeah. Well, his health is starting like... to go down now. Yeah, pretty pretty low health for Guma. That's nice. Great thing to see when you only have attack 5. And he does have the life spell, so he, he, uh, he hits it right now. No keys for simple, but he's got magic. He'll use fairy. If he stumbles yeah, upon another door, though, he might have to find a way to suicide. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate, especially because he walked right past two of them. Or fell past, I should say. And those are pea bags in vanilla, so he might not be of the mindset that all pea bags are turning into keys, not to make excuses for him. Right, that's just something I, yeah, I mean, it's, again, it's always easy for us to say just because I, I know randomizer better than I know vanilla, and a lot of our runners are the opposite. And there is uh, Guma down. Nicely handled. Seventeen hits were counted for Guma at attack level five, and uh, there's the first repo down. This is the item room repo, though. And it's Jar. Oh, 
It's one of my favorite encounters Vonky's going through. Yeah, I, I definitely like that stream where you practice this for three hours before one of your races. <laughs> it was definitely the highlight <laughs> of your channel. I was like, well, I've got ten minutes before my race starts. What should I do? I'm just going to play in that room for, for a while. So Vonky with the hammer now is going to go uh, smash the rocks. He comes from a different angle. And go to the first one first, and we know this was the water of life. Jar Jar Binks is Buzz's favorite character. That is correct. Oh, what? The... That's not true. I thought it was true. I I don't know how that rumor got spread. By the way, Dig had a uh, adult beverage stream last night, and it was fantastic. <laughs> I feel like I went to bed too early last night. You, well, you, no, were, re you were ready to you were ready to break your computer when I uh, when I, I checked out. I yanked my microphone because I'm using a different headset with a shorter cord. So I did a frustrated slam back in the chair, you know, going full Mountain Dew Taco Bell mode in the chair, and uh, <laughs> the microphone just yanked and smashed right down in the desk. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I think I heard that one. That's awesome. Taco Bell Mountain Dew mode. Yeah. So when you recline really far back in the chair, I don't know. I can't explain these things. I just <laughs> That's all right. So I kind of feel like I'm missing out because I don't understand that. <laughs> Dennis Miller would be my perfect co-host. He'll understand everything I say. Medicine magic container in the magic container uh, trophy cave for Funky. Simple still uh still trolling through here. Finding all the rooms. Finally gets a jar, he can pass this door now. Very fortunate drop right there. It's a hell of a gamble to go looking for. I usually suicide. Two options right and down. Check the right one first, why not? Is there normally a key door there? Has he been here before? I might be thinking a different room. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there's a nice dead end. Key key on the other side, though, if he didn't pick it up before. I don't think I did, he did. Well, he's not going down. But he's going to go left here, and he's going to be met with another with a key door. The uh, one he just ferried through. He must have been over there already if he didn't check going down. Yeah, maybe he just didn't approach it. Or just he saw the key door and thought he was not through it already. Could have been short on magic the first time around. There's a key right there. He's going to go down and get it. Yes, he is. We're going to have a trophy cash in here. And when I say trophy, I mean water of life cash in. Nice jar get. I really need to study jar locations. That's that's definitely a weak point for me. Because I, I had no idea that was there. I found um, I found a good guide. Not a good guide, but a good, nice, linear palaces drawn out with just lines and stuff. The site's very old, but I could not find a lot of stuff that I was looking for. Simple's going to drop here. What does this bring him? It brings him above the ceiling in the fairy room. Yeah, that's nice. Doesn't have to cast the fairy nope. there. But he's right back to... Oh, this is the this pass, is the pass okay. through. Yep. I'm finally able to identify that, whether it's the the Rebanac fight or not. Uh, my first is guess is when the first lower. enemy hits me, is it's not the Rebanac <laughs> fight. But uh, here is. The no, the ceiling isn't lower. It looks It looks identical, actually. Maybe I just have been guessing right recently and thought I knew it. Let's watch him take out Rubenak. Vaki back to the east here. And that's how you fight an Iron Knuckle right there. So you gotta I think mean, that Barb is on the you, other side but... here. And in fact he is. Or she is. He is. Now Barb watch this. I love this. <laughs> He's gonna be the jackhammer. Easy jackhammer here. And this is attack five. Uh, he gets hit. But we get a second chance to that watch it, though. Close. So it's kind of fortunate for us that he, he died there. 
Run in. Don't let that screen stop scrolling. Barbara will spawn in the third pit. Cast jump. Do it a little safer. But he's getting like, you know, he got about like 18 hits on Barbara that cycle. Yeah, he doesn't want to fall in the, the lava down to his last life here. <laughs> but makes it, <laughs> makes it look easy. Stabs up. I think twice. <laughs> Stabs down once and then jumps again. It's so cool. So cool. We're in a six now for Vanki. As simple, it's gonna place the gem in six. Tying him up at two gems apiece. Still looking for that thunder spell. Have not found any of the spells on Eastern Continent. Or any towns. Funky doesn't go for the jump to get the key. Or that key. Or that key. Who needs keys? No, you don't need keys. Alright, so... Simple, most likely going to deal with Pals 4 then? Uh, what would Buzz Thunder do? I would do Pals 4. Yeah. Get the West over with. And then you have two easier palaces on the Eastern Continent. And you've already... Well, he hasn't... He, he left five, but... Yeah, I, I like getting rid of uh, any West West Continent requirements. Simple's going to look for Rudo here so he can cash in the trophy. And I believe this was it. No. It was directly south of start, I believe. I mean, that's what I wrote. And I, I'm pretty sure it was the first town we found. It must be a little bit northeast of where he is right yeah, now. Yeah, maybe then. not. And there is four. And here we go. Both the item and character to the right. There's a dead end room. He might go get a key. He's got two of them, so he, he's not going to do it. Yeah, those rooms are such a pain. I hate having to go get a key in there. Yeah, you can make that jump um, with no jump spell. I, I also I... sometimes tend to, like, toenail clip on the edge of the uh, on the edge of the block and then jump over the flame. That's probably a better idea. There's the item room Rebo. He'll uh, get a heart container. Bonky. Bring him up to full eight heart containers here. Magic container. Uh, this is six. It's magic container. You're right. I'm sorry. So there goes my speech about how he, he hopes, he wishes it was a magic container instead. Because it was. There's Ooh, two of our one. three key dead end rooms. Drop down again. We're going to go through this three block room here, huh? Oh, that was the same dead end room, I believe. Because Simple dropped and wound up in the same spot? Or no? He, I don't think he already... Did he already check that? He's going to ferry up and over. I think he, I he looped a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. But I never saw him turn right in that room, so he may have think no, that's that, a dead end. No, that right was the um, the dead end, I think. And then he dropped in the next room, and then dropped again, well, first, and then landed the back first, on top. The well, first dead end was right when he walked into the dungeon, I thought. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, we'll grab a key here. There are two keys in this room, right? This is the zero key room. Oh, oh this, no. No, this is the I one key room. Yeah. One the of large enemies are key. the two key room. I never mess around with the, with those rooms. That's why my knowledge is... Vanki is now on the path to get those keys. And he's dropping down from the left side.
So Vaki might jump across this platform here, the same thing Simple did, but I believe Simple just backed right back out and fell down. Or he's just, he's milking for a, uh, for a jar. So he has a fairy on call. Nina's gonna go left. Blue Nut Knuckle in this room, this is where Simple backed right out. We know the fairy room goes nowhere to the right, and he's back in the jump room, so... A little bit of a loop, short loop. He's gonna fall on top of fairy room if he goes the same way Simple did. And here's the item Ah, room. item room. Yep. Not Karak. Probably a heart container? No. It is the flute. I know we said let's pay attention to the overworld. I don't believe I've seen the ex-wife on the eastern continent. <laughs> I haven't seen I haven't seen the ex-wife either. <laughs> Did it work? I tried. I don't know. I, I forgot I said that until just now. I mean, it does remind me of my ex-wife, so that makes a lot of that makes a lot of sense. Vaki's gonna die here for the magic refill. Um, I do like suiciding, but I don't like suiciding to doom knockers because I don't want to give them the pleasure. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Now, did he suicide? Well, he's gotta get through this door regardless. I was gonna say, did he suicide for the potential of needing to drop to go through the fairy room? Because if so, that's unfortunate because we already know that the fairy room. Is something you fall down on top of, right? At least at if you went the time, way Simple went to, went. And then at the same time, he immediately had to <laughs> cast all of his magic. So I think he just did it to get through that door. There. Yeah. Wow, and he got the same force in a job drop, uh, red jar drop there in the same spot that Simple did. Interesting. And uh, Simple's back in this room, so he's uh, he's been he looping around. He hasn't gone right in that room. And that <laughs> that might be detrimental for him. Uh, could be. This is where he ferried up and over. There's the first of the key blocks, I believe. Now if he falls down here, I believe it's that room that you said he didn't go right to. Right in. Yeah. And I believe it was a another one of those rooms. And then I thought he found a third one, but it just turns out it was the first one all over again. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the first one was right at the beginning, so... Nope, you are right. This was a, uh, a unique area. I don't know why he never went right there. He may have forgot that there was a right turn. Because this has got to be Karak right oh, here. Oh, there's a dead end. Oh, there's a third yeah. one. Oh, so it loops you back to the very beginning, because if he goes up this elevator, I believe that's the... Uh... Yeah, I'm confused now. There's a, there's a loop and there's something. There's multiple loops in this uh Yeah, in this that, palace is, that right is the very beginning. <laughs> so we were both right. <laughs> it tastes great and less filling. <laughs> Vaki's also uh, in a bit of a uh, conundrum here, looping around, trying to find the right ways to go. In the earlier days of Randomizer, people would be uh, talking about Unbeatable Seed right now. That's what happened when I first started watching this buzz, is that uh, anytime there was a loop involved or a death mountain that was really hard, it was always, let's call Dig Shake. Let's uh, message Dig Shake. It's unbeatable. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, there was a... I was, wasn't around for the, uh, the beta testing to find an Unbeatable Seed, so... It just beat me. Now the I remember death there. that one. <laughs> yeah, there's that one seed that you played after because I was walking around through Death Mountain for like a half hour. <laughs> and I took one cave. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, oh, I'll play that seed, and yeah, I, I just like got so pissed, I I turned it off. Well, I mean, that's that's Death Mountain. That happens. So Simple's back in this area. 
They both took simultaneous um, suicides. He's going to go back up and left over this... Uh, what do people call this? The super jump? Canadian? Is this the Canadian hole room that people talk about? No, the Canadian hole is the uh, Palace 6. Okay. Um, false 4. Okay. Yeah, Martin says that all the time, and I never really... Under I really didn't understand what he said, and then when I finally understood what he said, I didn't know it was... Uh, right, he... Didn't know what yeah, it was. Uh, Bonky's in the Canadian hole right now. Okay. This is there simple. a lot of, lot of joke opportunities there that you didn't take advantage of. That's all right. So there is Fairy Room that he lands on. This is definitely the way Simple went. Here's the Rebo fight, and then we're going to get a Carrick right afterwards. No, this is this room. We're going to get the Rebo fight, and then we're going to get Carrick right afterwards. And I remember our conversation about this as well. I can identify this room. <laughs> no, you can't, Buzz Thunder. Yes, I can. Well, maybe I can. They look the same. It just went something like that. It was pretty... Yeah, that's pretty good. There's a new room for Simple, I believe. playback on that? Uh, I hope it is, because he's twisted and turned. That's, no, it's still no. not Karak. No. That's the item room. So, yeah, I thought he had been there. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see him go that way. I just seen him enter the item room. Uh, I should have been mapping this out, because I would... Again, looking back and forth, I should have... I should know exactly where you should go. But this left turn, I think, was one of those uh, block key room type things. But I really don't know now. Well, there's Rebo down, and here's Barbo. Attack six Barbo. Don't know how many lives he has left. He's suicided quite a bit. Oh, Barbo has no health. Jeez. Yeah, that and, difference between attack 5 and attack 6, uh, and attack 6 looked a lot easier. A lot less hits. He's going to take attack 7 now, as he places this gem. So, three palaces down, four Vanki. And all he has to do now is do four. But, how easy was four to navigate, Buzz? Uh, we still, we still don't know. <laughs> um... Apparently, for simple, it's not very easy to navigate. He should have stumbled upon something by now. Here's a... Don't know if I've seen him go that way through that room. Yeah, I'm almost thinking you got to go left there, but... Okay, now... This has to be it right here. Well, key doors, and he can come back and cast jump and get, grab a key here. He might do that. But key doors are um, are psyching us out a little bit. Yeah, there's, there's Karak. There's yeah, that, that felt like it had to be Karak. Doesn't have enough, but he's going to cast jump, he's going to get the key, he's going to suicide, and then he's going to come back and, and fight Karak. So, there's a blue nut knuckle. He'll, he'll, oh, he's going to, what? Okay, well, he's looking for a jar. Oh, yeah, he wants to go over the... Yeah, or he wants to go over that point threshold Maybe. to get attack uh, seven, which he does. So now he has now to find another he way to die. Well, now we yeah. can die to Carrick. So yeah, go get killed by Carrick exactly. I put myself in a situation where I've killed all the enemies and I needed to cast fairy, and uh, I had nothing to kill me. Yep, that's happened to me as well. I needed uh, Ipecac at that point to just <laughs> kill myself. That's number yeah. We'll see how Vanki does in this uh, palace. How many keys does Vanki have compared to how many Simple had? At least Simple has one now. You have to think if Vanki does the go right whenever you can kind of uh, meta, that he's going to fall into the same loops that simple yeah well yeah we'll see uh it's helpful to to turn make that right turn in that drop room early because see now that i watched him go in turn left and then uh you know find that breakaway bridge room right away when he falls here he's gonna know it's a loop like right there and then he's like oh well i don't even want to mess around with it then it's like oh i just looped yep there he goes he goes left immediately 
So Vonky yeah, I mean, take, uh, again, in hindsight, yeah. it's easily identified and identifiable by Vonky. Simple takes attack seven and saves. And he's playing on a flash card, so I definitely approve of that. Although, knock on wood, he said he never had any problems with his as other runners have. What is that little... And I say that, I see a little bit of a like a glitchy yeah. line through his screen. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, now Simple's done with this West, I believe. He's got one, he's got four, he's got six. Time to hit up the Raft spot and, uh, and move on. He still has not cashed in the trophy, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he has not. And there's the town south of Start. I really strongly feel that that's, uh, Rudo. And he's not gonna go in it. Yeah, he's walked by it twice now, having the, having the trophy. And that's assuming I'm right, which I'm probably not. Well, here's, uh... The item room for Vonky. Little synchronized nut knuckling. Oh, there's my ex wife. And he has the flute. He does have the flute. Flute was in four. But Vonky's gonna have that pretty shortly. He's gonna ferry over these guys, not even kill him for the XP. And then uh, just get the item. Yeah, get himself a flute. The point is, Simple doesn't know it's the life spell, it could be Thunder. Desert spots. The desert spot he needs. Oh, he already got to the desert spot. Anyway, he got the heart cont car container from it. And uh, that was the flute for. Yep, Bonky picked it up a flute. It's always a nice feature of an ex-wife that you can just play a flute and she magically disappears. We've been looking for new names to to call the River Devil because he never blocks the river in Randomizer. Road Devil doesn't work for us. Uh, so far, Ex-Wife has the lead on the uh, straw pole, the fictitious straw pole. So if anybody has a new name for it, um, please speak up. We're, we're definitely workshopping new ideas. Yeah, there's there's a lot of room for improvement there. Oh, as with a lot of things we say. Well, speak for yourself. We'll get the upstabs, and we'll uh, we'll turn re we'll return the kid. We found your kid in the closet. Uh, here you go. Vonky's gonna go get a key and a pee bag. The mother-in-law. Okay. Bet you wish this was downstab. Nice. So confirmed, he does not have life. Where's the Tech 9 guy? Is he not here today? I haven't seen him. I am, I'm very happy that it's become his name, though. Here we go. The last of the items to cash in for a magic spell. We'll see what it is. And if Thunder is, in fact, free or not. Both players have the kid. doesn't matter. <laughs> Mother-in-law, that's not bad. Fire. Similar to X-Life, but pretty good. The wants to be relevant. <laughs> Dead end, dude. I actually like that one. <laughs> Why not just call the River Devil Ultros? He's not purple. How many magic containers does it take? Well, we don't know. Both players six have or six. Less. Yeah, both players have six, so. Not an issue. Nope, not an issue at all. And what is that old lady hoarding in her basement? The last heart container. Only the second one that Simple has gotten. Now, here is where the differences between watching like a Unos or a Dick Shake and everyone else kind of kind of comes in here item is on the way that's fine the spell could be thunder for all we know 
But this is where I see people, if they have all the required spells, even if they have the magic container requirement or the spell, they'll just back right out. Welcome to Walmart. So that has to be shield. It is spell. I was just guessing. Well, that's that's gonna force him to get the. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, listen. The it was a debate a couple races ago between the backing out and the well, what if it's two magic containers and it helps you to cast shield, jump, and reflect against Thunderbird. Personal yeah, preference, play style, experience, Carrick, by the way, uh, for Fangi. It's always, you know, it's it's not really that tough of a call, because I like to say, yeah, okay, if you're doing it for the sake of speed, go ahead and pass it up, but I mean, if it saves you a death at a later time, going to get that, for him to cast spell and grab that was only about 30 seconds, you know? And I think that's uh, well spent. I'd give 30 seconds for a magic container. And that is Palace 4 for Vanki. And that's four gems, and he is also done with the West. So he needs two and three out in the East. Mm hmm. While uh, Simple needs all palaces in the East. He knows where five is, it's on Maze Island. Are we searching for the other two palaces? Is that what's going on right now? I believe so. We only found, Probably well, towns. there's two towns right there. I don't know if one of them was yeah, Sneak I mean, Pseudo. Ellis and Town, really, you know? He, he could use a little bit of everything. Was that Darunia and New Pseudo? Seems like it could be, since he yes, just passed Yes, I it believe up. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a good point and a good difference right there. Vanki handled four much better than Simple did. Yeah, Simple got turned around mm -hmm. way too many times in there probably cost him about five minutes and he's spending a little time here trying to find palaces or he's you know the thunder thunder is either in thirsty broad town or in the abandoned town in new casuto so uh old casuto and here here it is thunder and thunder town probably a good possibility 50 50 right now and the ex-wife is dispatched of on the uh yes yeah, thunder thunder and thunder town ah nice All right, nothing holding you back now. Find those palaces. There's one right there, but he's not going in. Interesting. I saw him do this his last race. He kind of maps out first the places he can go. If he's still looking for another palace or, or the entrance to the Valley of Death, he'll he's looking for it. There's the entrance to the Valley of Death right there. And then he'll go and hit the item where he wants to. I remember he was in New Casuto about three times last race and never went in. But then we found out he was just basically exploring the area in front of him and then he went in. Yeah, I don't know if it saves that much time. And here's our last town, Thirsty Broad Town. We know this is going to be Shield. Uh, save time? Maybe not. You're kind of, uh, well, because you're going looking and then having to come back anywhere, anyway, instead of just going when you're done. Yeah. But I'm at the same think, yeah. time, do you remember where'd you come from, where'd you go? And then, <laughs> will you forget that by the time you're done with the palace? Oh, jeez. I wasn't going to do it, but it was so easy. <laughs> Their shield. At least you did it on purpose that time. Oh, absolutely. The opportunity presented itself. It wasn't forced. <laughs> Not at all. I believe that was the first town that Vanki found on the Eastern Continent. He's only been to Maze Island and Palace 5. And, well, Maze Island, Palace 5, the Desert Tile, and then he found the Water Tile. But cannot go into it. Goes by the warehouse. The most famed architecture in all of Hyrule, the <laughs> warehouse. So Simple doesn't go grab that key. He's got seven jars, magic five. I'm gonna start saving time by not collecting keys when he gets there. 
I don't know how many he has, though, but regardless, I think he would have just... He's got two keys, so he's all right. He's He uncovered the jar, but has no use of it right now. He, I guess he was going to fill up his life. He has Helmet Head, though. Oh, nice. Nice quick Palace 2, and we find Palace... Was that Palace 5 on... um? No, it was Palace 2. And here is Thunder. Yep, Vonky's probably going to go right into Palace 2 as well. Because it's right there. Let's see if he uh, gets his lucky as simple did. It's a lot easier getting hit by those invisible mowers at life 3, life 6 with uh, 7 heart containers than it is with 4 heart containers like 2. If you go on to that other side early. Uh, yep, that's that's usually about three hits and you're dead. They just become annoying if you if you have a little bit of life. And the worst part about these mass like pseudo master flag settings is the lava encounter is the grass tiles. <laughs> At least you have the candle though. Funky a hundred percent that class little bridge area. There's a room we haven't seen in a while. An encounter we haven't seen in a while. The uh, backyard of Tim the Toolman Taylor. That's right. Detroit, Michigan. Was he Detroit or was it like a suburb of Detroit? I kind of feel like it was another something else Michigan was there where they lived and where the studio was. Probably a suburb. All right, we got to figure that out. If we're going to pretend to be home improvement fans, we need to know that answer. <laughs> Kind of... Apparently, it was never important when I was an avid viewer of that oh, program. Why I'm thinking like Aurora, or that's something else, I believe. Aurora? <laughs> oh, that was uh, Wayne's World. That's a Sorry. suburb of Chicago. Yeah. Ex excellent. Helmet head fight. Uh, simple missed a fairy feat, and he, he just powers through that encounter. He's going to go back to the other side of the ex wife. As Palace 2 is dispatched by Vonky, leaving Palace 3 left. And that's it. Uh, we don't know where Pal. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. I was about to say. Wow, I don't know if Simple scrolled that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Just because he was he was going around the whole outside there, and then it's just literally right there. Yeah. So huge advantage now for Vonky. If he gets out of here quickly, uh, he might be running away. We'll see what happens. Especially because Simple's uh, in a peak and pee bag cave. Whenever I get this color palette, I feel like I don't have the candle. The dark blue dungeon? Yeah. It's a little bit worse. Well, it, there's one in Zelda 1 randomizer where I feel like I don't have the candle. But I think this might there might be a little bit of a darker tinted blue in the Zelda 2 randomizer for palaces. I always feel like I don't have the candle when that happens. Just bypass those keys. We don't need them at this point. Just palace 2 and 3. Plenty of magic. Oh, wow. And a very short one. 2 and 3 were... Jeez. Yeah, well, hey. Get, get through two and three in about three minutes. Compared to four, five, and six? Yeah, it's, it's a cakewalk. They just gave you the boss right away. A little too premature there. I'll hold off. And there's gem, all six gems done. It's uh, Valley of Death time, and I believe it was right by... I don't know if he's seen it's, it, but it's west of where he is now. Bon. Yeah, it's yeah directly west, not only about one one or two screens over. So he's oh, yeah, he knows. Yeah, he's he's got a he's got a stranglehold on this right now. But again, Great Palace has uh, fifty nine rooms. Simple still needs to navigate five, beat Guma, and uh, and, and then find three. It was right to right to the right of where um, 
2 was, but I don't know if he scrolled in that direction to see it. You gotta think he didn't, because he would have done it right away. Yeah. Gonna fairy feed through. He misses that one, and now uh, he's got plenty of magic. He can miss up to, I think, one more time. And he can always suicide, it's no big deal. Up A as soon as you get into the Great Palace. Even with the most trolliest and and remember, it's not a simplified Great Palace. It's the full Thunderbird required Great Palace. Yeah, but even in the trolliest of all the trolls. Bells and whistles. What's that? So this Great Palace has all the bells and whistles. Yeah. Well, you waste two screens going down. And then honeycomb room, I believe. No, this is the theater room. Even in the most trolliest of situations, I mean, Vonky has to be in an endless loop of dead ends and game overs. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. Well then. Even with a full Great Palace. I mean, the hunt, like, only one real room and then the two corridor elevator shaft rooms were taken out of the equation. So Dark Link could really pretty much be anywhere. Every drop will not bring you back behind Thunderbird. So at this point, it's like, well... It's basically the entire Great Palace. Yeah. And every drop can bring you further back into a... Uh, if, if you're not mapping this out and you're just doing it based on memory, taking drops could hurt you at this point. Not because it brings you back beyond Thunderbird, because I already said that that's not possible, but... It starts dropping you in places, and you're looping around, you've already been there before. Yeah, we'll see if we have any drop rooms that are close to Thunderbird, where it might technically take you back to the to the uh, quote-unquote yeah. beginning. I, you, I Well, he did it. I was going to say, I'll tell you what, I up A here, because uh, get all your life back, and you get three free rooms to go through. Yeah, definitely. That's a great strategy. It's close enough. Through the theater room and to Thunderbird's room, and now what lies beyond? Let's find out. Looks like we have simple finding a couple of dead ends. It's gonna go down an elevator here. It's the easier of the encounters, you don't have flying crap at you. I hate that room when the flying heads everywhere. Choice here go left, go right. We're gonna go right. Yeah, I died in that room about an hour ago. And uh, now we have our first drop room. Again, you can't drop behind Thunderbird. That's important. But it doesn't mean it won't take you to an area where, on the right path to Dark Link, it could take you in the path of uh, of a nice big loop. Cast Fairy to get away from the Blue Fokker. I think he took a Sword Beam anyway. You go left and right in this room, he'll go right. So two paths left unexplored at this point. And we'll go down here. This is a uh, jar room. Okay, we're gonna go down one more floor. How many of those uh, are there in There's the Great Palace? Uh, what, the corridor room? I think four. The elevator room? three. That is a good, uh, that is a good point Error brings up. He does not have that upstab. And it Ooh, is a full Great Palace. That would, be, that would be something to even the score. Well, that's why he, uh, he ferried through that other room. Yeah, even if I have upstab, a lot of times I'm casting jump automatically in that just to get by quicker. I don't have him as cashing in the kid, and I don't even have him as even seeing Darunia. Oh, Invisible Moa in this room. So, Honeycomb Room, Invisible Moa. Here's a nice, easy bridge room. Ouch. As long as you don't get buzz stunned. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that enemy is avoidable. Well, now if you have upstab. Well, you can avoid it if you have upstab, but you gotta kind of be like tiptoe, 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 let him drop, and then kind of. I don't know. Is it possible to knock it out with a regular stab? Uh, it could be. If you, you know, you've got to catch him on the edge, but... Another honeycomb room here. So, two paths left unexplored. 
one before the drop, one after drop, one immediately after drop. And then pretty yeah, linear see. since then. Yep, very long string of rooms. Here see if comes. he runs into a dead end or can keep on going. Here comes Guma. Let's see how he handles Guma. He's going to downstab, get on the other side of him. Oh, okay. Dark Link. Jeez. Full wow. Grey Palace was shorter than remove uh, Short and Grey Palace right now. Yeah, definitely. This that has got to be the Dark Palace of his... Dark Link of all Dark Links right now. That was... Wow. I would take that Great Palace layout any day of the week. Except for Thursdays. Simple's going to place the gem in five. And be met with some unfortunate news in IRC in about 30 seconds, maybe. A little less. Yeah, right around an hour and a half seed. Nice work. Full Great Palace Vaki. indeed. Yeah, more like one eighth Great Palace. So I post. I, I've gotten to habit to posting the time official time as soon as I see people start saying GG. So I don't uh, ruin it. He handled that at a glorious sixty frames per second too, as uh, you can tell by his emulator. So Post. I, I've Hello. gotten the habit to posting the time. Whoa, we got a little bit of a loopage here. Is that Vonky? Yeah, that's me. Hey, congratulations, man. Good game. Thank you. I was... Uh, I made a few mistakes, actually, which made me worry. That's... Uh, let's Thank go through you. those. What, what do you think you made a mistake on? Uh, palace orders. I kind of was looking for the boots, and thankfully I found the recorder, knowing that that might actually be enough, so... And that's, fun. that's funny that you say that about Palace 4, because uh, it'd be nice if you saw what Simple did in Palace 4. I <laughs> have got, no idea, got, actually. Yeah, <laughs> he got quite lost. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit of a difficult Palace, I must say. I got lost myself a little bit, but thankfully I did not have to go through Death Mountain. Thankfully I did not require upstep in the Grand Palace, so I'm pretty happy with my result overall. Yeah, no upstairs. Full, full great palace there, and uh, you found Thunderbird right away. You took the first drop you can find, and then you found Darklink right away. I mean, Yeah, that really... was a bit of a gamble. Knowing it was a giant great palace, I knew taking drops could pay off, or yeah. it could set you into an early loop, knowing an early loop is possibly an advantage in the great palace when it's not shortened. So, Well, we joke around a little bit with, with the, the, the term vonky flags, and I got a little bit worried when, uh, when, when this was going to be a vonky flag tournament. Uh, race. I was actually quite disappointed when I saw my starting life and the gems six. I was like, ah. Normal, <laughs> normal starting life, six gems, and a even shorter than short and great palace. <laughs> it was. Yeah, uh, I'm actually quite disappointed in that. I was like, oh, yeah, let's throw, uh, let's throw off this entire layout. No gems needed and stuff. But then, I started. <laughs> Four health bars and six gems, and I was like, "Oh man, I'm really? like, this is this is not a Vaki seed. What happened?" Yeah, <laughs> like, that's exactly my thought. They loaded the wrong seed, but uh, it was it was very <laughs> nicely handled. You got the the glove almost immediately in Medicine Cave, and then the raft was in in Palace One, and then from there yeah. on out, it's like, well, do we get the boots? And then the flute turned out to be a a good pickup. Both of you guys got it, but um, yeah, I was I was kind of worried that I maybe needed the flute or at least get the boots to re get the flute or whatever. I was thinking about weird combination. Thankfully, I did not need a weird combination. Oh, I see that Simpleton uh, does have the boots. Or he just went through a cave we didn't need. Uh, I think he went through a cave. I, I still don't know where the boots are, but he could have He could have found... Well, he. Well, I can check where the boots are. I basically crossed off everything on my list. So. <laughs> well, the boots could have been in 2, 3, Spectacle Rock or the Water... Well, it can't be the Water Tile. So 2, 3 or Spectacle Rock. Uh, don't forget New Casudo. New Casudo were heart container, there. magic container. Okay, he's been there. I yeah. didn't even bother to find New Casudo or the other town with Kit with Upstep. Yeah, I was, must uh... admit, I did forget the town with Upstep because I was in there and I wanted to Upstep something. I believe it was with that blue chicken, jumping chicken. Yes. With a, it, at my first drop, I was like, oh shit, I don't have Upstep. Uh-oh, this can bite me in my ass, but thankfully I did not need it. You got fairy, you went up and around into that little... little... Full spot yeah, but there are, there are two rooms actually which require upstep. I think I beat Jackimus once because he did not have upstep, and it was actually required in a non-short grand palace. So, 
I was uh, kind of worried that I might have needed it, so yeah, I, I think, did not find it then. I think Jack and Miss had an unfortunate run of two races in a row where he had a back out of Grand, uh, back out of the race at, at Grand Palace because of uh, one was upstab and one was because of uh, you know, Thunderbird not required, but he spent a, a while fighting Thunderbird. Yeah, uh, I think those were those were Vonky flags, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I beat Yunos in one of my flags as well. Uh, same thing happened. Uh, he did not got Thunder, and Thunderbird was actually required. Well, the checkbook was unchecked, so yeah. it gave me the little advantage I needed because, well, he still almost got up on me. Yeah, it was very... uh, I like those random flags. Anything can happen, and I was like, ah, let's do some random flags to entertain the audience. And... It turned out to be pretty normal flex. I was really disappointed, actually. <laughs> well, last but night... don't were... worry. <laughs> I've made an appointment with Ness Martin. If he wins, we're going to do funky flex in the next round. What? So. Oh, man, really? We are gonna we have to pull up Martin's audio on that and uh, because of the fact that, uh, well, we don't have audio anymore because, he, because you gave me the audio. But um, I'm going to have to pull up audio on that because we got to keep a counter of how many times uh, Martin says, F this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> So we have to, that's definitely going or to Or he's going to say, I hate this game, or fuck you, Vonky, I hate you. <laughs> we played Something three like seeds that. in a row last, he played three races, race seeds in a row last night, and every, every, everyone was the same. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I hate this game, <laughs> oh, great. I hate this game. Yeah, we should keep a counter. Who made this layout? We should ask for, I hate this game, counter <laughs> That was uh, HN, at a, uh, I don't know how you really say his name, but <laughs> I always watching? call he's it not watching, Genos. So. He's not watching. Ah, oh, that's terrible. That's well, he's getting prepared for his race. He's probably uh, plugged in with the uh, the ABBA and the uh, Ace of Base. And he's getting pumped up. <laughs> yeah, probably a few tall cans. To, uh, tall cans? Well, he, had, he had many tall cans. So he's probably still sleeping. What is it, 6 p.m. over there? 7 no, no, no. no he is, he's already... awake. He's awake. He reacted uh, on my whisperer. I sent him a message. And oh, he okay. Was he yeah, said he already. Mentioned, I he just mentioned. started drinking. When is your match? So I responded <laughs> uh, right now, one hour and thirty minutes ago. So, oh man, yeah, he said that he had tall cans quite early uh, this morning. So, he's well, I actually him. forgot I had to race today. So I went to the soccer field, landed up in a little party, and realized, oh shit, I got to go race after <laughs> like maybe six, seven beers. So I was like, oh my god, this is not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, it was. So a I basically bit... did a I did a Martin on funky seats, funky flex. So. Uh, but don't tell him that. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell him that. I'm not gonna give him the satisfaction. Tell him that. Exactly. We <laughs> should just call him. He really hates it when you call him Trophy Boy or whatever. Because, well, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then for those who don't know, I said it earlier in the race because when you in uh, when you in Rudo, I go, uh, hey, Vonky's in Martintown. Yeah. <laughs> so for those who don't know, Martin one time, uh, Ness Martin, N E S underscore Martin. And follow our runners too. Follow everybody. Anybody who said anything in chat, follow them as well. So do this. Um, Just follow everybody. Follow everybody. Just have a big uh, circle follow session right now. Um, yeah, he was actually racing me when it happened. Yeah. I finished and he was like, I cannot find a trophy and I need a trophy. And one hour later, he realized, oh, I already picked up the trophy. <laughs> so. Oh, Martin, he's a lot of fun. Uh, he's a lot of fun when he hits the tall cans as his, uh, as yeah, his dick shake. And he's Swedish, so we had a little European race, and it was fun. <laughs> well, I mean... I, mean... I, think, I think I'm 5-2 ahead in races, so he'll probably beat me in the next tournament race, you know, the one the one race that does matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one race he'll just pull out all the stops, because you will play the winner of the DH2284. Yes, that's true. I already told him. I told Martin him to race. win so we could race each other on Vongi flags in the tournament. Oh, and man. he said, I'm going to try, but I'll be drinking beer. And I'll be excuses, excuses. <laughs> Always lays those, those seeds down. Yeah. Uh... I was really happy to find those two palaces next to each other, though. Yeah, that's a well, well. Simple finally found two. Simple was in three and hesitated to go in because he was look he was looking around, but he never scrolled the map right. So when he was in two, he seen up and he seen left and he he came from the south, but he never scrolled the screen right. And if he scrolled the screen right, like two more tiles, one more tile even, you yeah. would have seen palace too. So he went from three, all the way back to finding to going to Maze Island, trying to look for three on the way. And now he came back for three. So the two huge time sinks for um, for Simple here were the Palace Four, where he looped endlessly, and then the uh, the search for Palace Three. I was 
pretty happy to see them next to each other. I knew I did not need any item from them anymore, so it basically went straight to the bosses. They were like probably my fastest palaces ever. It was like go right, right, and there was the boss. Yeah, and, and I pretty, uh, go, I go right, right. Go right, right, and, right, and there myself. was uh, uh, go right, and there was Thunderbird, and then go right, right, basically, and there was Dark Link as well. Yeah, I, I'd like to see what he does if he decides to take the drop or take the elevator. Because I was debating with myself, I, mean, I went down and I was like, okay, if I see a crossroad where I can go left and right, I'm definitely going left. I, I might as well have 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 it done left. I mean, well, when you dropped, you had the option to go left. That was the only one. You, excuse me, the only one you had, other yeah, than prior to the drop, going left as in soon that as inverted I dropped, T room. I knew that yeah. if I went left, it might have been a bad idea, and yeah. I came into a room where I knew there was an elevator on the right. I think it was that room. Yeah. Uh, I think... Was it one more room after that I went, room? I went right room. first, and then I found a room with an elevator. Yeah, right and first, then the elevator. I knew that if I went down from an elevator, the possibilities to have another right are pretty great, so... Yeah. It paid off. Excellently handled. That's probably the best luck I'll get in this race, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I was I was really preparing to do loops and loops and loops and loops and well, I'm kind of disappointed about my great palace. Yeah, I was a little disappointed too because when I saw you guys talking about well, not not how you handled the great palace or anything, but but the flags in general, um, how you know non-standard they were, and they were yeah. standard basically. I was kind of hoping to have a well, basically a similar start. I also did not realize, by the way, at start. That I could go down uh, from the Star Palace, the North Palace, I think it's called. I could go down. I saw the road going down, and I was like, "Yeah, that's probably blocked by a boulder." So I actually never checked until I got the hammer. So I took a detour, which I think eventually paid off because I immediately found the medicine cave. Uh, yes, you immediately found the medicine cave and, and got the glove. I don't know in what order you found the glove. I mean less than 10 minutes in. I don't know if you're the one that found yeah. it first or... or That's because simple. I thought that the, the road leading south from the North Palace was boulder blocks. I'd never bothered to check. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I realized like 30 minutes in, oh shit, it's not boulder blocks. Uh-oh, now I <laughs> might be behind. Because I took the, took the long route every time, but that's yeah, basically you... all paid off because I knew how to get down step really early. So. Yeah, that was... Uh... Everything uh, fell into place there. It's nice to have a seed like this every once in a while. It's nice when it really goes your way, especially when it matters. Yeah, um, yeah definitely well played. So. Yeah, I can't say it was mostly skill. It was also luck in the order I found stuff. So That's part of the randomizer, though. Order matters. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's what I like about randomizers. Everybody basically has a chance to win. Yeah, and you didn't, you know, the, the, the fort, you know, the... the the good side of it, the gameplay side of it on your end, uh, barring the luck, is you didn't take dumb deaths. You didn't game over. Not that Simple did either, but I mean, just in general, you didn't do any of that stuff. Yeah, I was pretty happy about that. I also see that he does not have life, so he didn't bother to go back to... He never cashed in his trophy, no. Yeah, he, he walked past it about I three think, or four it, times. Wasn't now. it the medicine? It was oh, life. Medicine was jump. The medicine was jump. The medicine was jump. Was, it was yeah. life, yeah. And he didn't have well, thunder knew, at the time either. Yeah, because I kind of knew when, as soon as I had life, maybe behind the trophy, that maybe he did not went to Death Mountain or and got it. It was, uh, as I said, it was a fortunate, unfortunate thing for you. Is you went into Death Mountain, you found it right away. But the unfortunate part was that he could do the same thing and just find it right yeah. away as well. And uh, he he did. In his other three races, he's gone to Death Mountain every single time. Before he. I, yeah, basically always skip Death Mountain unless I absolutely have to go in there. I was kind of worried that I had to go in there. I was like, uh, should I go into the palace look for items, or should I go to Death Mountain? I'm pretty happy I found the item in five pretty fast. Because oh. I hate five. Five yeah. really can be a troll. Yeah, another another time saver. Another way you you gained an incredible amount of time is that uh, you stuck with five. And you completed uh, it yeah. and simple had left and had a little back. bit of luck in four also because I was on my last life and I really did not want to up an A. So I decided to take a magic level there so I could mm -hmm. fill up my magic cost fairy and, and reflect should I uh, encounter Kirok. Mm -hmm. so. 
the one i, I guess the one thing i could too. question on is early on in the race knowing that like fairy was 71 and you had four magic containers you opted to take life four over magic four yeah and uh, i just didn't know if you I just questioned myself as well. i was like hmm, maybe i should have done this okay. the other way around I mean, but simple course, did the same but, thing. Yeah. So fortunately, I found Palace One, and I know I can get a few extra keys from there. So I took my time exploring Palace One to get the keys. Right. He is going exactly the same way. He's going to find Dark Link as well. Yeah. Yep. He's head, heading straight to Dark Link right now. Yeah. There's no alternate path here. It's going to go right to Dark Link. He's going to probably laugh his ass off like, "Oh." He's a good guy. I like. I like simple. Yeah, I know. Very friendly, very approachable. Yeah, he's going straight for it. We should have been here within the minute. I was pretty happy how I killed a few of those chickens, though, because I did not have upstep to fight them. But if you're one plateau higher uh, higher than them, you can basically just crouch step them to death. Yes. Yeah, that king bot that kind of got me by surprise. I could <laughs> not defend him. I was in the middle of saying you've got. He's got to watch out for. Oh, it happened. <laughs> yeah, at least he upstep. I could not. Yeah, that's when that's when the realization came. Like, uh oh, he never went to Darunia. And then I looked, and Error said it in chat, and I'm like, oh. And I said it out loud. I'm like, yeah, that's a great point. He, it's a full. If it's a full great palace, and he doesn't have upstep. Yeah, I was when I was in there. I just I realized because I really thought I went there. I mean, I knew I had the gate and I could get it. So I was like, okay, if I find the town, no problem, I get it. And then I saw palace two and three, and I was like, oh, if I finish those, I can go to the grand palace. And I totally forgot about upset <laughs> until that blue jumping chicken. <laughs> and here is Darklink. Oh, then you're in front. I'm still seeing him fighting an orange chicken. Uh, yeah, I'm watching on the multi -Twitch. Oh, you are... Oh, I'm watching the restream. Okay. You're watching my restream, yeah. Yeah. My dog's going bananas. Oh, what's the dog's name? We like to also talk about uh, pets on the uh, the post-game interview. Uh, her name her name is actually Bita. Okay. I got, I got her from a special dog shelter, which... Yeah basically helps dogs from foreign countries and then in my case Spain so I kept the name how the how she gave it so how they gave it to her <laughs> that is that's one of the most friendly great palaces that that only took simple four minutes and 15 seconds yeah I'm pretty sure everybody is gonna do the same thing now everybody's gonna go oh let's do funky flags short great palace yeah, Vonky, Vonky Flags yeah. is now a thing, but let's not let's not overlook the fact that the first twenty seven Vonky Flags were the most chat. miserable experience of my life. I know. I have proved everyone in chat that the Vonky Flags are friendly flags. So nobody will believe you. No no one's gonna believe me anyway. <laughs> I remember that race. Oh, you were like, Oh my god, I hate you, Vonky. <laughs> you really had a hard time. I think Simple Soft locked the game, but uh Yeah. <laughs> we we we'll we'll just say that done. That's why I never really wanted to uh, cast fairy there. When people are like curse fairy, yeah, after he, I'm like I don't know if I can soft lock the game or not. I, I haven't seen All anybody right. do it yet. But uh, here we go. I've got a comment for you. Funky flags, friendly flags. Colon <laughs> capital D. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I'm not sure if Simple's going to join us. We'll uh, we'll ask him. See, so I've yet to try a Bonky Flag. I think I, I think I want to try. They don't seem that tough. Uh, no, these one were actually. I told Simple that it can be very hard or it can be very friendly. In this case, it was very, very friendly. Well, I, I saw in any of them where you start with one heart container. It's like, yeah. Good yeah, Lord. I was kind of hoping to start with one hundred heart container with only one way out, the bridge with a lot of flying stones and a red tire <laughs> or something blocking your way. You know, something. Oh like that. yeah. Because that's basically life one in one of those encounters. You can't get hit at all. Yeah, I'll tell you one. We had one with, uh, with Junos. Uh, I think it was Junos and Ness Martin. And we found Li Lifetown, I think it is. Is it Lifetown? The, is that the when you got Fairy? Bagu, or Bagu. And we got Fairy from there. The only problem was, the only way out, was to Fairy across that river in the town. 
And there were only enemies to which gave 10 experience or 20 experience, so we had to grind a few magic levels to actually get further in the game. <laughs> that was really horrible. Dimple, no simple. So how much time was that? 1.48? So I beat him with 18 minutes, nice. I'm sorry, I had to take the headset off for a second. I, I think it was uh, Jackamus, not uh, you know. So I think it was you, Jack, and uh, and Martin, because I think that's when uh, Jack's computer was beeping and everyone was blaming you. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, so that it's that was crazy. You guys had to farm bats just to cast fairy. Yeah, that was the one. So it can be pretty trolly, but it can also be very, very friendly, very fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. All right. So Simple's not going to join us. He's going to go eat. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to grab me a beer while I watch Martin. Absolutely. And that race is coming up in, th in about three hours on this channel. A little over. Uh, the three race hours. Between... Jesus. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> between uh, NES underscore Martin and uh, DH two two eight four. Do I have that right? I have to make sure I have that right. Just call him DH. DH. Well, if people want to follow him, it's uh, that DH sounds correct. Two two eight four. And uh, you can catch that on this channel. Buzz, you joining me for that? Uh, yeah, I'll be there. All right, awesome. It's the uh, it's the freedom weekend of uh, Buzz. That's right, that's correct. For, yeah, uh, Zelda all day, man. Uh, no problem, Vonky. Uh, good good job and congratulations again. Thank you, and I'll come. I'm looking forward to my next opponents. I have no idea how DH is. I know how Ness Martin plays, so I'm probably going to do it as late as possible in the evening so he gets drunk and more drunk. So. Yeah, make sure Ness's girlfriend is over there too to distract him. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. So I'm probably going to say, uh, let's do it about 11 p.m. or something, then he should be pretty drunk. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be about 20 tall cans in. <laughs> yeah, Z2 Tactics, Z2 Tactics. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Vanky, congratulations. And <laughs> All right, good see luck. you later, guys. No problem. Bye -bye. And uh, Buzz, thank you, and everyone, thank you. Uh, we'll be back in uh, three hours for the DH versus uh, Martin Reese, and I'll just uh, throw up that little preview right there. I can't wait. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, uh, I'm ending the stream. We'll see you then.